Hello, Swerbe. And this time we have a nice job here. This is like a desktop motherboard. It's an all-in-one uh, PC motherboard, which has like a normal CPU. So uh, we have an interesting job here. The customer sent me only the motherboard. So what the customer is saying, the customer is saying the computer working on some point, uh, the next day, the computer hasn't started. So let's have a look what the customer sent us here. So we have the charging port. So what do you think about the board? I mean, it looks fine. Huh? This is a nice board with a nice socket. I can't see bent pins there. But you see, that's a board where actually you can replace the CPU if the CPU is getting faulty. Yeah, so what do we have here? We have a we have a cheap uh, a GPU, probably Nvidia. Yeah, this is a nice Dell board. It's a Dell Inspiron 777 uh, all-in-one series. Four sevens, yeah? Good. So I will say, let's try and fix it. So let's plug the charging port. And let's see what this is doing. Before we are starting, today's video sponsor is PCBWay. PCBWay is one-stop solution based on the fact they have all kinds of PCBs. 3D printing, CNC, she metals, uh, all are available on their website. And you'll find a link on the description to have a look on their website. Now the beauty is, if you register on this website, you have $5 gift, which is about 10 boards. So actually you can order 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now let's go back to our board. We have our power supply. Let me find an adapter. So let's switch the power supply to 19 volts. Plug in the power. And it's taking 60, 70 milliamps. That's not right. Uh, on, a power, on a motherboard, when the motherboard is off, all what it's on is the 3.3 volts power supply, which is supplying power to the EC chip. So we have like 70 milliamps and doesn't look good. Yeah, doesn't look good at all. Now, what do we have here? Where is the EC chip? Because most likely this one, I believe we are dealing with a dead EC chip. It's not that one, but something else. Yeah, SMCS. Yeah, that's the one. And the chipset. Check here, you have the chipset here. No, it's not warm. Uh, let me grab the thermal camera because what is taking 70 milliamps, we should see it on the thermal camera. Okay, so with the thermal camera, what we can see. Oh, lol. Oh? What is here? So whatever is here, yeah, it is hot, but it's not on this side of the board, must be on the other side. Let's have a look together. Huh? So what do you think? We have, we have two transistors, like normal transistors, which, wow, they are mad hot. Okay, so that's the input circuit. I can see it now. Yeah, and the next MOSFET is probably on the serial mode with the. Uh, it's on the serial mode with the power. So check here the power connector. Yeah, you see red. So this must be plus. Plus, you see you have few inductors there, and then it's going to the MOSFET, and those two transistors are getting hot. I will get a multimeter. Why those two transistors are getting hot? Hmm? What is the reason? 
So we have ground. So the ground is here, right? Yeah, it must be this one, yeah. And we have the input. And check on the screen. The input, we have 19 volts. And on the output, we have nothing. We have zero volts. You can see. Now, how those transistors are getting hot if here we have zero volts? That's a good question. Anyway, you can uh, spot anything weird on this MOSFET. Hmm? We have three pins together at the input. That means it's a channel P MOSFET. And on the gate, we have 19.6. Now, you see on the channel P MOSFET, the voltage here has to be lower compared with this one, with the, with the source. So if we have 19, that means the MOSFET, it will not drive the power. So in order to drive the power, it has to be at least probably 6 volts lower. Good. Let me disconnect the charger. Let's go with the multimeter. So with the multimeter, so here is fine. Check on the screen. Zero ohms. I mean, like literally zero. It's exactly the yeah, it's exactly the multimeter resistor, probably 0 0.1 ohms, you can see. So I will say the main power rail is shorted. Where do we check the main power rail? Very simple. We have those capacitors. You can see we have dual MOSFETs. So those are the CPU power supplies. And we have dual MOSFETs and we have capacitors. Let's come with some current. Hmm? What do you think? Let's come with some current. I'll get the power supply. Uh, I'll let the charger, because the charger, it will give me the ground. Let's lower the voltage. Oh, about one volt. A bunch of amps. So coming with the power supply after the MOSFET is... Yeah. Check that. Yeah, like 2.6 amps, but you cannot check here. You remember from here you have the current sensor, and after that is going to the main power rail. So I'm going to check here. So here we have 3.2 amps, 0.09, and here 1 volt. Okay, so here is the plus, 2.6 amps. So this board is taking 2.6 amps with 1 volt. Let me grab the thermal camera. Now if it's a dead MOSFET, you know, what does even matter? You have a swappable CPU. It doesn't matter. Replace the MOSFET, replace the CPU, and all good. So it must be a capacitor. Huh. Like, oh, 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 what is that? What is there? Oh, lol. Okay, okay, okay. So, can you spot the problem? Huh? You know, I'm just asking, can you spot the problem? You can't. Hmm? Can you spot the problem? We have an exploded capacitor, you can see there. It's exploded. Let's go under the microscope. Let's uh, replace the, the capacitor and uh, yeah, we are good to go. We can test the board. Huh? So what do you think about that capacitor? What happened with that capacitor? So you see, that's, look how black is the board here, you can see it. So you see, that's a reason why the laptop worked and the next day didn't work anymore. The capacitor exploded. Okay, of course, we're going to replace the capacitor, though not in this video. Do you remember? No capacitor, no shorter capacitor. 
I make them a favor. If I replace the capacitor, the capacitor has is just another chance for uh, that capacitor to blow up or go shorted. I make them a favor. <laughs> uh, okay, let's switch to 19 volts. I'm just joking. Of course, we're going to replace the capacitor on another video. So the board is taking 400 milliamps, you can see. So the board just came on. Yeah, the chipset is getting hot. Yeah. Yeah, the board is working. So right now is nothing what I can do. You know, just uh, the board needs a CPU. And that's all. So everything is fine. What do we have here? Here we have the GPU, which is on. Uh, what do we have more? Here we have the, we have one chip which is on, we have power supply which they are on. Uh, the CPU power supplies, they are on, but obviously it's no CPU. Those power supplies, they are on. The chipset, it is on. The SMCS chip, uh, it is on, yeah? So the board, it's up and running. We can check the voltage on the power supplies. But obviously the board, it will get stuck without the CPU. It cannot pass the test. We don't have the CPU and RAM memory, right? Yeah, RAM memory is missing also. But the fault was clear. I mean, it's not like, okay, this is one fault and then you have another fault, no. Was a shorted capacitor on the main power rail. So here you have one volt. Maybe you have this board and you want to know the voltage. You see, yeah? here you have one volt. If you're looking to program the BIOS chip, you have 3.3 volts. Then here we have five volts. Then here we have 3.3 volts. Then here you have 1.8. Here you have 1.8 volts. Okay. So here you have. 1.5 volts. I'm not sure for 1.5, probably for VRAM, right? Yeah, probably. And here you have 1 volt. So here you have 1 volt. And here you have 1 volt. So if you have a dead uh, power supply, you can use just one wire to carry the 1 volt and you solve the problem. Hmm? Okay, okay, this was an easy job because all what we had was a blow up capacitor. You can see this one. Oh, yeah, you can see. Hmm. The thing I didn't spot it. But yeah, maybe it's a good idea just to analyze the board before you start. I mean, yeah, it was kind of tricky, you know, it was like, like a lot of white and black here, so hard to be seen. But yeah, it's making sense why the computer died. Okay, so I'll stop now. I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.